Welcome back to another video of Math Times Cool. In this video, I will be um, doing the second part of expansion of polynomial products. Okay, so let's begin. So this formula will come in very handy. So it's x plus a times x plus b is equal to x squared plus a plus b to the x plus a b since since you're distributing the x so it'd be x squared plus bx and in the a again plus ax plus a b so yeah just remember this okay so knowing that let's do a few problems let's say you had x plus y plus three it. Then you're multiplying this by x plus y plus 5a, right? So again, you can see that there, that there, x plus y appears twice. So let's let's name that another variable. Let's say, let's 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 just give that z. Okay. So x plus y is equal to z. This is how this is how I like to solve these problems because. That's that's personally the easiest for me. So z plus three a times c plus five a, and then so you distribute the z, so it'd be z squared plus uh, plus eight a plus fifteen a squared, as you can see, right? And then we um we know that uh we know that um uh um. Sorry, um, we know that, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it would be 8AZ, Z, because, as you can see, when you distribute the, the 3A, 3A times Z is, uh, 3AZ, and then 5A, times z is 5az so it should be 8 8az okay so now let's just distribute uh, or um substitute z and for x plus 2 so that'd be x plus 2 squared plus plus sorry plus plus a a times x plus y plus x plus y or 15a squared so Okay, so x plus y squared is uh, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue. Uh, this would be plus 8ax plus 8ay plus 15y squared. Okay, so now we have, um, we have this, and as you can see, the, the final answer would be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared plus 8ax plus 8ay plus 15 to the, uh, sorry, 15 to the a squared. Okay, let's let's do another problem let's say we had um x plus 2y my or plus 3a times x plus 2y uh plus 4a again you can see that there is a resemblance and then so let, let's let's name that as g let's do it again so z plus 3a times z plus 4a so z squared plus sorry for the bad handwriting plus uh seven a seven a z plus twelve a squared right and then so again substitute in uh z for x plus two y squared plus seven a x plus two y and then just plus twelve a squared so be x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared plus 3ax plus 6ay plus 12a squared. 
So, oh, I'm sorry, this is a 7. Yeah, even, okay, that's 14 instead, because I was distributing the 7a with the x, 7ax, and then 7a times 2y is 14aay. So the final answer would be x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared plus 7ax plus 14ay plus 12 to the a squared. Okay, now let's, um, so this is page 6, uh, page 6, uh, almost done, actually, let's do a few more problems. So let's say you had, um, x plus 2, you had, um, x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x plus 4. Yeah, there is an easier way of solving this, so... First, you just solve yeah, the two problems respectively. So, this would be x squared plus uh, five, 5x plus 6. Right. And then we have this side. Oh, because we distributed the values. And then we have x squared plus 5x plus 4. Right. And then again, you can see the same. Uh, same set so z plus 6 times z plus 4 this would be um uh it'd be z squared plus 10 z plus z sorry z squared mm. sorry um so we have z squared plus 10z plus 24 because z times z is z squared and then plus 4z plus 6z and that's plus 10z plus 24 okay so now again we distribute the uh, value of z which is um which is x which is uh x uh, x squared plus 5x so that's squared Let's do this first. So this would be x to the fourth plus 10x to the third plus 25x. If you're confused, uh, so again, you do 10x squared to the second power. I covered this in my previous video. So that's x to the fourth, or my previous Kumon video, yeah. That's x to the fourth. And then you do two times ab, your ab. And again, I covered this last Kumon video. So two times x squared plus times five x, ten x to the third plus, and then five x squared, which is twenty five x x squared. Okay, so now we have plus ten, ten times x squared plus five x so plus ten x squared plus fifty x, and then we have the twenty four at the end. So the fun if you were to add up on like terms, the final answer would be x to the fourth plus ten x to the third. Um, plus 35x squared, because 25 plus 10 is 35x squared, uh, plus 50x, and then the lonely 24, and the lonely 50, 50x. So, bang, we've got our answer. So, officially done with page 6, let's, let's move on. So, expansion of polynomial products. So, we have to remember this formula to solve this problem. So we have a plus b to the third power. So a plus b to the third power is just a to the third plus 3a squared to the b plus 3ab squared plus b to the third. So you just have to remember this um, formula. It's, it's not that complicated. So just Remember this, so it's a to the third plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared um, plus b to the third power. So let's say we had a plus 5 to the third. So using this formula, right, it would be a to the third plus 3 times a to the second power times 5, so that's 15a squared, plus, plus, 3 times a times b to the second power, 
So b to the second power of 25 times times 3 is 75. And then the a plus b to the third power, which is 125. So find an answer being a to the third plus 15a squared plus 75a plus 125. Okay, so now let's move on. Okay, so this so this is the second part to that puzzle. So we have <clears throat> the other form, a minus b to the third power. So this would be a to the third minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b squared, or b to the third power. So this is just like the a plus b to the third power formula, uh, but instead there are a few um, sign switches. Okay, so let's do one problem. So x minus 3y to the third power. So I'll be x to the third, because this is the a, a to the third, a is then a is x, and then negative 3y is b. Okay, so we have multiply by negative 3, a squared plus uh, 3y. Sorry, it's not, b is not the negative value as well, it's just a positive. So it's be minus 9x squared y. Uh, and then you would have um, plus 3a and then b squared, which is 9y squared. That would be, because 3y squared is just 9, and then 3, 3 squared, 3 squared, y squared. 9y squared. So that's 27ay squared. Ah, uh, not a x. Oops. And then xy squared. Okay. And then minus 27y to the third because uh, uh, 3y uh, to the third power, and then you're subtracting. So 3 to the third is 27. And then y to the third minus that. So you find an answer being uh, x to the third power minus 9x, 9x squared plus 27xy squared minus 27y cubed. Okay. So I think I will. Um, I think I'll end the video here. So in the next video. We will um, continue um, expansion of polynomial products. So about uh, three pages, yeah, three pages. So um, in the next, so I'll just tell you guys what we're about to do. So in the next three pages, we'll do more of this, and then we'll have a couple of new things that we will be going over. So um, yeah, so make sure after you watch my videos to. You know, not just to watch them, but to, you know, review. To, you know, if, if you really need to remember the, that information, remember to, you know, review occasionally. Not every day. You don't have to, but at least um, every, every so often. So, um, thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.